Hey guys, welcome back to Josie Mae's Meals. It's been a minute. Haven't really had time to do a video, but I thought I would do this one, not planned, but what I do when I want to cook the foods that are going to go bad in my fridge. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. Just the random, no, no rhyme, no reason to the meal. I just want to cook foods that I don't want to go bad. And right now, what I have is a couple of big bunches of rainbow chard uh, straight from the farm. And I cleaned it once, I cleaned it twice, but I'm also going to clean it each stem as I pull it and get ready to chop them up. And then taking it right over here, I'm going to get it into this pot. I have just about the first part of your finger of water in there. Not much, just enough so it could steam and keep um, some moisture. And I also had some potatoes from the farm that I wanted to make sure didn't go bad. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes out of that. Now for my meat, what I do have is some pork belly. So I'm going to get that going here. But right now, let's get to that chart. If you buy them in the market, they don't take as much time to wash, but if you're buying it straight from the farm and they cut it from, you know, the farm, you're going to get the rough cut, which I don't mind, plus all of the little friendly bugs that go along with it, again, don't mind. I love getting my veggies over at the farm. So as I go through it, I'm just going to cut the parts I want to make today, which is going to be the leaf. If you haven't tried rainbow chard or any variation of chard, I highly recommend this green. I think I really like this one over spinach, uh, big time over kale. I'm sorry, I'm not a big kale fan. If you are, that's good. Not so much for me. Um, collards, you can replace these uh, with the same seasonings you would make your collards. That's just a very beautiful piece of chard. Alright, I'm just going to make it through this bunch and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I got my chard all washed and stacked. And I usually stack it up. And this is a big stack actually. Got one little loose leaf here. Add it right on here. Once it's washed, similar to how a lot of people do their collards, I uh, roll them up and just start cutting, chopping to how you know however thickness you like. I'm gonna chop through it uh, the other way as well because I like them to be in smaller pieces. running out of board here. Okay, I'll come back to that end piece. And then I just go straight across and just however way is easier. I don't need it to be the same size. And I'm going to get in that those end pieces. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now my water is boiling. Put this knife down over here. And I just want to show you the water boiling over here. I'm going to start just dumping my greens into the pot. Now, these parts of the chard are perfectly edible. I cook them a lot of times. I didn't want to do it in this one, though. Um, they taste perfectly good. You know, I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure we could get these stems here to cook just like rhubarb. 
add some sugar to it, I bet that would come out good. Maybe I'll try that next time. Alright, so here's our greens. Lower you into the pot. There we go. Now, pretty basic for me, the seasoning. I have an all-purpose seasoning that I use. I have it in a jar. So this all-purpose seasoning is similar to brands Ecosin, uh, Jumbo, or uh, Vegeta. It's kind of like a chicken bouillon seasoning, salt, all in one. It gives great flavor. But to add to that flavor, you've got to add in your bay leaves. And I'm going to drop for this size pot about three, maybe four. I'm going to let this cook down. And then when it starts cooking down, I am going to add some hot sauce into there. So right now, all I'm going to do is get this one covered, and then we're going to get started on our pork belly. So I have my pork belly right here. You can see how nice and thick that fat is. That's going to be flavor town right there. I'm going to push this over to the side because I forgot my onion. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and get this into the pot, and then we'll come back to the pork belly. Okay, back to the pork belly. I want this into small pieces. Mouth size bites for the grains. So that's about the size I'm going to cut them into. And I decided to use one of my pans to cook these in because if these give off the grease because of the size of that fat, it'll be better in the pan than my griddle top for cleaning at least. So I'm going to be using this pan here and I'm going to get them going in there. I just went from my veggies to my pork, so I've got to go wash this. <laughs> okay, the pork belly is all browned up. I'm going to grab it, dump it all right in. So, Pork fat and all. You want all of that goodness in there. All right. Butter. Okay, now I'm going to leave this uncovered. I'm going to go ahead and let that simmer and let some of the uh, liquid evaporate a little more so it could be a little bit more tighter. 
And now I'm going to start working on our mashed potatoes. Okay, now this is how I like my mashed potatoes. Everyone makes their own. I like, instead of using salt, to use a little bit of my all-purpose. And then I get some butter in there. And before I add in the milk, I like to mash. I don't measure. I pour it in, start stirring, and see if it's the creamy level I want. And just a tad more. about where I like it. Potatoes done. Now I gotta show you something else I had in my fridge. I did not want to lose it because it's so good. And it'll go with this meal. I picked it up the other day, but we didn't finish it. That's some pork adobo right there. That is gonna go pretty amazing all together. Alright guys, we are done. Now all we need to do is give this a taste test. So my mashed potatoes and gravy is now mashed potatoes and adobo. And I have my charred greens here with pork belly. And that's what we want to go and give a taste test to. It's really hot. Oh, it smells really good too. I have to blow on it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. You guys have got to try this dish right here. So good. You can eat just that for dinner. It's so good. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.